Hey everybody, welcome to the free video. And it should be a fairly interesting week as we head into post monthly options expiration. One of the stocks I'll be watching is Tesla. Now obviously Tesla has had a really good run with a combination of earnings and the daily squeeze. And most of last week it looks like it ran out of gas. I mean every time it stuck its head up it just got hammered back down which was what it looks like on the chart. But if you look at this, what ha is we actually made new closing highs every day. So, uh, which was which was kind of interesting. And this is a typical thing that happens during monthly expiration. And when you get a run like this, especially in the monthly expiration, retail gets excited and they buy all these cheap calls up here. And what happens, of course, is that the funds and market makers are selling those calls to them in the hope that they expire worthless. And so what happens a lot of times is during the week of monthly expirations, a lot of these high flyers will be held down. I mean, manipulated, held down, sold. And then once expiration is over, they're kind of free to go. So I am actually looking for Tesla to pop early next week and a target there is the fire line. Um, another stock that fits this category is CMG. And you can see here that it just traded, traded, traded sideways. Uh, really couldn't get its head much above 680, 685, and I'm looking for this to also go higher next week. So what about the markets in general? Well, for the Qs, the Qs are rocking and rolling on all cylinders, okay? They, they're selling, even when the rest of the market was selling off, they held that 8 EMA on the weekly chart just fine. If anything here, we're at a potential kind of a double top phase. We've got a nice squeeze that's ex extended. So that's just something to kind of keep in mind in terms of caution, but we're certainly not gonna fight that. You know, that's obviously going higher. The, the one that I wanna watch is the Russell through IWM. If this market is gonna show any signs of weakness, it'll be here first. You can see we have sell signals on the weekly chart and a potential squeeze that could trigger short and on the daily chart. So I'm keeping an eye on those because if those roll over, that's gonna be the first kind of, the Russell essentially read, led the market lower and it'll do the same again. If it's gonna go lower, it'll happen in the Russell first, all right? And then last but not least, I continue to love TLT. This is one of the few markets out there, ETF or stock, where every pullback to support and then dumping it at the extension has worked the entire year, okay? And I'm looking for that to continue, and the 30-year bonds are actually only about four points away from all-time highs, um, as are the 10-year notes, and if they do make all-time highs, they could get silly to the upside, which would, of course, benefit TLT. All right, hope that helps, and you guys have a great rest of the weekend, and we'll see you at the next update.